The vocalist in this video is the younger Eric Neal, alum of St. John's College in Blee City, along with fellow classmates. He would go on to become Major Eric Neal, a decorated officer of the Belize Defense Force. He truly envisioned service. Major Neal was one of the most highly educated officers that we had in the Belize Defense Force. He had a Master's of Arts in Strategic Security Studies, and he had a War College Diploma from international, uh, based on international security and combating terrorism. He was also a justice of the peace. And as everyone knows, uh, based on the media, he was, um, he was the aide de camp to the former Governor General Sir Calvin. During an interview with Neil earlier this year, he spoke of the honor he was given to serve the head of state for 14 years. Talk to us about what that experience has been like. I would say rewarding, uh, hectic at times. It's very taxing on my family um, because I have been the aide de camp longer than I have been married, actually. And my daughter, when she was pretty younger, used to, I would say, reel up uh, because I didn't have much time with her due to the fact that I was either on official duties, my primary duties as a soldier, and seconded by my role as the aide de camp. I say rewarding because His Excellency is one of my childhood heroes. And not many young boys, particularly young boys who came from the ghetto, from the slums of Belize City, would be able to serve their childhood heroes. But he was not only the aide de camp. He was a father, a husband, a son, a brother, and a role model to so many. Neil was a success story and someone to look up to. As you pour through social media, the many persons he has had an impact on are sharing memories they've had with the deceased soldier. Longtime friend and former SJC classmate says Rico Mage, or Solo, as he was affectionately known, exemplified what it meant to be a patriot and service to the country. For me, reflecting on Eric Neal, his is a story of a reconciliation between father and son. We had a small reunion recently, and there were a bunch of us who were together as former classmates and students of SJC. And the entire time that he was with us, he kept talking to us about having made amends with his father because there was a strained relationship and the importance of, of being able to, you know, kind of bring things together full circle and, and, you know, reconcile for whatever differences because life is short. And he kept impressing that on us, right? Not knowing that this would have been our final reunion with him. He was a very exemplary individual very high moral standards for himself and for his country, you know. Um, in terms of the job that he does as a BDF officer, he's very exemplary. You think, about, you think about people who make the uniform proud, so to speak. You think about Eric Neal. In much the same way you thought about Victor Martin, these were people who wore that BDF uniform and they were the pinnacle of what it is to be patriots, what it is to be someone who is compassionate and in love with his country and serving heartlessly. Neil was also the chief scout at the Scout Association of Belize and has had a huge impact on the lives of scubs and scouts he engaged with. I was a little cub and then I was like very shy and so he just turned around and talked to me and told me, hi, how are you? What is your name? And I answer and it after that, I just like, I may get calm and then I'll be like, okay, somebody who I know, like, yes, it understand me. And to me, he that me are like a role model, a person where I could look up to, a person who I tolerate, like, no, no nonsense or nothing. He was very, very happy. Every time I come in at a place, he always see a smile on his face. He always gives you jokes. He was just a very happy person when he, comes in he bright up he brightens the room when he come in for me major neil has 
been one of my mentors, one of the few mentors I have under this association. So his advice to me is very crucial in what I do and how I go about with my scouts and also playing out my role at the national level. The entire association has felt this. This morning when I heard of his passing, it took quite a while for me to actually sit down and grasp what I heard. But after a while, it really started setting in and it was then that all the emotions started to come down. Because Chief, Chief might not be around as much, but you, once you come in contact with him, you cannot forget him. Dwayne Moody for News 5.